Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Imperator Rome as we are playing as the Roman Empire. I'm going to start calling us the Empire. I think technically we're called the Dictatorship of Rome, but we'll call ourselves the Roman Empire from here on out. And yeah, this this war, uh, this style of warfare, very, very tedious and uh, slow. Uh, so it, it's not going very far as far as the time goes. This is likely going to be like a three episode war, uh, despite the fact that we only had like four years uh, of, of actual gameplay left, just because it's a very, very slow style of conflict, guys. Uh, but I, I like the the uh, uh, the challenge that we're getting here, because there is a bit of a challenge, even if we are just wiping the floor in the actual battles. Just the uh, just the huge scope of the war, uh, and the number of troops we're fighting, the area we're fighting in, uh, it's definitely kind of exciting uh, when compared to some of our our previous conflicts. So this is the next win here, but I think we'll have all these kind of finished up around the same time. So we'll just kind of take a peek at them here in a few days. All right. Uh, so just trying to get these troops here destroyed. We'll attack those guys. Looks like we might be able to get some of them engaged. Just trying to wipe out their numbers a little bit so they're not taking as much territory. Because as far as number of armies go, they have more than us kind of spread around. And in my refusal to raise up the levees in certain areas is also going to make that take longer. We did finish up this battle here. 6,100 destroyed. Excellent. They don't have any ships, so I mean, we could raise the levees up. Uh, but, you know, we wouldn't even be able to move them over there in a timely manner until we get the ships freed up, which they're currently busy. Uh, but that is something we could consider doing since, you know, they're probably not going to be able to invade us. I don't think they'll ever have the, the means to, to invade us. You know, let's have those guys go there, and they'll go here. All right, so let's go after those troops next, chase them down. Can't have them back here taking territory over from us. And let's go ahead and have these guys go after that one, that one. Those two aren't done just yet. This one's done, though, so let's go after that. So this will be the next province. Just kind of slowly getting North Africa completed. All right, so these guys are coming up over here. I'm going to try and engage those troops there. Oh, those are on the retreat. Okay, so that's fine. Let's see if we can't catch those 26,000 somewhere. I'm going to take that one, I suppose. Just kind of operate down here. What we need to do is come over this way so we can see any troops that are crossing here. That should probably be a priority of ours is to get over towards that region. Uh, looks like we did finish up that battle. Excellent. Let's go ahead and march back over this way. The assumption they're coming over here somewhere. Once we have that siege finished up, we'll be able to end the, the conflict with them. Hopefully. I, I don't know if it'll stop us from making a separate peace treaty. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm hoping we'll be able to, to get that finished. And these guys here still busy there. All right. So the next, they'll be the next one. Done in a few days here. Still waiting for those ships as well. All right. Excellent. So this one's done. Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Must have looked at that wrong. And yeah, maybe that was a different army. Maybe over here somewhere? Uh, yeah, it was these guys right here. Let's go after that next. So yeah, still trying to get these guys here engaged. Even if they're, we keep them on a run, then that works too. And where's these ships? Because if we did get this done and, and had them freed up... Oh, they're coming way over here. Uh, then we could go pick up some levies, I suppose. Just kind of spread out the armies. Now, levies are not going to do as well against their, so, we won't, uh, you know, their levy armies, so we'd have to have them, like, behind the legions. You know, let's have these guys go up along the coast. Legions all don't have to be in the same area. All right, let's get that taken next. I don't know if I've seen any mercenaries yet. I'm very curious to see if they'll hire any, if they'll be able to. All right, so taking that here, let's go after this one next. And really trying to get those guys engaged there if we can. Probably not, though. All right, so still taking that. Let's see how things are going down here. Maybe finish this one up yet? No, we haven't finished that one. Okay, so the next one would be right there. All right, so this would be the next one. Remember, we're still trying to get those guys engaged. It looks like we will catch them. Excellent. They'll have double the numbers. Uh, no terrain bonuses, I don't think, though. Having trouble seeing it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any terrain bonus. Yeah, planes. No terrain bonus there. Let's go and have those guys go this way. Still taking that territory there. And how are the ships doing? Almost there. 
Okay, looking good, man. Looking good. The next one is right here. There we go. It's going to have them come over this way, although there's no troops there, so let's go ahead and go after this fort right here. Really need to start getting some of these forts taken over. So we got that 7,000 there. I'd like to get them engaged. Let's finish this up, and then we will uh, go after those 7,000. I think they might be chasing our 4,500 down. That's what it seems like, anyway. Not sure where they're going. They might come over here, which we'd be able to probably destroy them. Yeah, they don't get any terrain bonuses there. All right, let's see if there's anything else to be aware of. Yeah, these guys need to move, as do they. Uh, we do have some mercenaries that have been hired here. Okay, so that's a problem. Let's go after them. Let's try and chase them down. Come up along the coast here and go ahead and finally take over. Is that the area? No, this is the area right here. We want to go after that fort now. All right, now let's go ahead and see if we can't get those 7,000 engaged right there. Uh, next siege that is done. Doesn't look like we have any just yet. Uh, we finished up that battle. Very good kill-death ratio. They're now on the retreat. And we finished up that siege there as well. So I'm going to see if we can't... I should start flipping all this over, right? I'm going to see if we can't make peace with them. Just don't have to worry about them up here anymore. Doesn't look like we can because they are subject to the Roman Revolt. Okay. So that's good to know, I suppose. So we need to get these guys here wiped out first. And I wonder why this is not flipping. I'm not entirely sure why that isn't flipping. Uh, yeah, we'll trade with Thrace. Yeah, I suppose we'll trade with them as well then. Uh, we need another governor here in Numidia since we're in a new region. So let's go get somebody appointed here. And we'll go with, uh, with this guy here. Could start raising the levies up over here now. Because um, I think, well, again, we want to finish up the regions before we, we actually raise them up. So what we might want to do... Let's take a look at the the regions and, and determine when we want to, to raise them up based on when we have most of the region conquered so that we can have the largest possible levy. So we're almost to the point where I'm willing to raise up the Africa Legion. Just a little bit longer, guys. Make sure everybody's moving here. Looks like we're good to go there. Got eight days to finish up that siege there. So that'll be the next one that we'll be finishing up. Yeah, that one right there. And I keep moving this around so it always confuses me. All right, so that's taken. Uh, these guys are on the move now. It's going to just start taking out territory here. Are there any fortifications? I'm not seeing any. We're going to try and get those guys there attacked. We will cross the river to stop them from taking the province. Let's have these guys here go over to this province. Hopefully they'll stay protected. All right, so lots of sieges going now. Let's see what we've got over here. All right, so these guys here are almost done. Uh, we'll just have to go with that one. Just kind of continue taking the coast out. It would really be the best way to go about doing this. It's getting the coast taken. And these guys here should be done. Okay, beautiful. Next siege is this one right here. Yeah, not a huge fan of this style of conflict, um, this war goal for big old massive empires. Like this is kind of a hassle when you have, you know, multiple fronts is where the biggest issue is, which we saw that with Macedonia can be uh, quite the hassle overall when you just got too, so many fronts that you're fighting on. Let's go and try and attack those 7,000, get them wiped out. Uh, the next siege that will be completed will be right here. Let's actually go over this way now. And the next sieges are over here. All right, so that one's taken. Let's go over here now. And let's try and get those 6,500 engaged. Go over that way now. And see what we have and haven't taken over here. Nothing. Uh, so next siege is this one right here. There we go, beautiful. It's gonna go this way now. And this is the next siege, these 4,000 here. Uh, let's see what's going on up here. 
Okay, so we'll be fighting them there. Uh, we did finish up that battle right there as well, so that's excellent news. Let's go after a fort now. I'm gonna work on something constructive. I'll have these guys go and see what's going on over here. Uh, we did finish up that battle, but they're still on the march. Let's go over that way. I don't know where they'll retreat to. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, these guys are just about done with their siege, so let's go have them go that way now. Alright, so waiting on that unit and this unit here. And these guys again, just kind of moving up along the coast. We'll get all the central areas taken care of later. Uh, now that we have them doing there, I should move the ships. Let's go to get them and just double check, make sure they still don't have any. As we take the coast, it's going to be harder for them to build ships. They do have a, a wide coastline though, so that's going to be a time consuming. Uh, these guys are done with the roads, and you know, we're just going to keep them here. I'm not going to mess with roads anymore, guys, since, uh, you know, we, we need to concentrate on this conflict. So let's go to raise up some, some levees that we can separate and have them like uh, fan out and, and take territory. Uh, so let's see where we'd want to raise these levees up. We're going to have plenty of levees in Africa, so we'd probably want to have them help out over here, is what I'm thinking. It'd be the best way to do that. And thus, let's send... Uh, yeah, I don't want to raise up troops there. Uh, let's just raise them up right here, I think. Could also raise the ones up there. There's the Magnagrisian ones. We'll do one here. In a, a port province. We'll do it right there. That's 28,000. So we'll go pick them up and then we'll have them fan out. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna pick them up and bring them up over to here. So, but let's get them picked up before we we separate them. Just it's easier, obviously. All right. So once these guys are done here, we'll have them go over this way. I'm not seeing any troops that we could fight just yet. There's those six thousand there. Uh, so let's see if we can't get them engaged because they might be coming over here to attack our four thousand. Got some starving pops. Okay, so that's in the the province. Which makes sense. It's a big city that, or you know, bigger city that doesn't have any food provinces to support it. A lot of people are going to die in this war, guys. That's just what's going to how it's going to go down. We still haven't destroyed those guys, which means again they're on the march. Damn it! Let's take the five thousand and, and try and figure out where they're going. We'll take those two, but yeah, we can't uh, can't end the war with them, unfortunately. So we have to get that that army wiped out, and that is being rather time-consuming. Right, we finish up this siege here. Excellent. That was a, a fort. And now we're going to start wiping out this territory here, guys. Just get the forts to kind of limit their movement is what I'm thinking. Alright, so let's go here. Still trying to get those guys fought. They're already moving. Let's go and take a look at the situation here and see if there's any units that need to be moved. Uh, we'll wipe... I almost want to attack those guys there. Yeah, let's attack them there. I think it's worth it. I know we almost had that province taken, but it's fine. Uh, I think we finished up a siege somewhere. Maybe it was over here. No. Okay, so we have two right now that are about to finish up. Let's go after the next one here. And then these guys here, I suppose, would go after that one. Because, yeah, I think we'll have them meet up here in the middle. One army meet up in the middle here. I think is the best way to do it, rather than trying to have that, that one army go all the way across. I like to get that area finished up. Again, decreasing the overall size of the fronts would be the most helpful way of doing this. Since each front is so dangerous, since they can take over territory so quickly. Do you have that 4,000 I'm seeing over there? Next siege would be right here. And then right here. I assume these guys here. Nope, they're not done yet. All right, so we're doing a battle there. That'll get some more troops wiped out. Maybe not wiped out, but uh, pushed back. I guess we could trade with Macedon. There's really no reason that we couldn't trade with them. All right, next siege that'll be done is this one here with those 4,500 troops. There we go, beautiful. Uh, we do need to continue the attempt to chase these guys down now. Yeah, they're going over this way, so let's have them run that way. We'll have these guys come over here and then go up that way. Just wherever they retreat to, we want them to have to fight somebody. Actually, let's do this the reverse way. They'll go over here. And these ones will go up this way. 
I'm just trying to get those guys wiped out if we can. Uh, the next siege that we done is this one. And looks like we did finish up battle, but let's first get those guys moving so I don't forget. All right, so we finished that battle up. Excellent. We'll leave them there and let them finish uh, that siege there. Next siege would be this one here. Uh, we will go with that one. Just a little bit of legitimacy lost. It's not too big of a deal. And just continue to, to accept these trade offers, try and improve our economic situation. I have no idea where that army went. It's probably going to come down here to cause us all kinds of issues. Uh, ships are about halfway there to pick up our, our levies. Got that battle going. Excellent. Uh, the next siege would be this one here. Now we have two sieges that will be completed. All right, both of those two. All right, excellent. One more day. There we go. Uh, let's accept that offer there, and then we'll get these sieges taken over, taken care of down here. I'll go after that one. Uh, there are those twenty-seven thousand that are mercenaries that just got raised up, so we need to get them fought uh, while they're low morale. It's the best way to do it. I'm hoping we can just get them to blow all their money on mercenaries that we immediately destroy. Alright, so this is the next siege. Okay, so I don't think that's impacting anything up here. Let's get these guys moving over here next. That battle there is almost done. Uh, we have two sieges about to finish up. Okay. Once this one here is done, and we're getting a lot of good stuff for our generals as well. Uh, or excuse me, for our legions. All right. So the next one, we're gonna have to chase those guys down there. It's this one here we need to to get assigned. All right. So the next one is right here. These forty-five hundred troops. So I really want to get those guys fought. So let's go after them with our our legion here. Don't need to have every legion doing sieges. All right, so ships still aren't there just yet. Could have this army get picked up. I think we will. And, you know, they may just be engineers, but that doesn't stop them from being able to do... take those, those provinces. So, yeah, I think that might be what we end up doing. This here will, will give us a lot of armies for operating over here. Uh, I want to use them in this area, predominantly. Uh, so the next siege is this one. Excellent. Let's go after the next province now. And then we'll have this siege here done. And we did finish up that one too. Awesome. Um, so let's have... Let's see how we want to do this. We have these guys sweeping across here. Uh, let's start just taking this territory here. And we do need a new governor there now as well. We're almost ready to raise up the African... Uh, Levy, you could raise them up now, I suppose, but we'll wait. We'll be patient. Uh, we'll just get, let's get a family member here. All right. Uh, so next siege done is is that one right there. We got a lot of troops that are currently moving. All right, so that's done. Again, just continue moving up along the coast until we reach here. Is what I'm thinking we're gonna do. All right, so this one here is almost done. Excellent. Let's go and move to the next one. Let's take a look where the ship's at. Not there yet. Again, we're going like day by day right now, really, really slow. Just about got the win there. Excellent. Let's go after this one now. And then this one here's almost done. I wasn't actually going to go after that one. I was attempting to, to get these guys fought. Uh, so the next one is here. And I'm just going to take over this, this uh, state here. Kind of focus on that. Uh, might as well finish that up, and then we'll chase those guys down. Let's go over here and grab this province. Just kind of slowly getting these all taken care of. Uh, these guys are also ready to, to move. I'll go after that next. Again, just so many uh, different areas we're currently fighting in. I guess we can go after this one next. Just need to screen these 4,000 so they can take care of this while the legions push forward. And then here, this again is going to be all the levies that we're going to use. Uh, that we've got getting picked up over here in Gaul. All right, so the next ones are that one and this one. Okay. All right, so that one's finished up. Oh, and we'll do that. That is a huge chunk of money. Good God. 
clearly we are going to need to uh, change up the economic situation, go back to default taxation so we can stop having so many issues with the, the finances here. Uh, let's go and try and chase these guys down, see if we can anyways. And then we did have uh, another siege finish up somewhere right here. Yeah, right here. All right. Uh, still trying to chase these guys down here. And we might have picked those troops up over there. I guess we'll see. That guy's actually having to fight a fort. Uh, just about. Almost there. Uh, so what we'll do is wait for this one to finish up, and then we'll go take a look at those troops. There we go. Let's go and take here next. Actually, you know what? Let's get all this taken. All right, so let's go ahead and... Ah, they're still not there yet. <laughs> they're almost there. There we go. Uh, let's put them on there, and then we're bringing these ones over here to Hispania. Oh, uh, yeah, we have to go in our own territory, obviously. All right, so we'll move them all the way over there, and then we'll get them separated, and then we'll get them fighting. Uh, we do have 19,000 men right there that we need to, to get engaged, so we'll go chase after them. As we're also chasing down those 27,000 there. Uh, so the siege that's about to finish up is this one here. Yeah, just very much a hassle, this style of uh, warfare. I think that's the end of the state. Actually, we'll go after this one right here. Alright, so the next siege is this one. Alright. Just trying to chase down some of these, these armies, man. Looks like we will be able to catch those guys there. Excellent, that's what I want to see. And we'll also be finishing up this siege here. Uh, we'll go after that one next. That's the next siege that'll finish up. Let's see, we will trade with all these guys here. I never did take a look at where that, that army went. I have no idea where they're at. All right, so that's kind of a shame. They could be anywhere. Yeah, they could be going through anybody's territory right now. Hiding out. So, a bit problematic. Gonna have to go across the river to stop them. I don't even know if we'll be able to stop them from taking that, so we might have to, you know what, we, we'll be outnumbered, so we really don't need to be attacking across a river. Just getting next to them might be enough to get them scared. We'll go ahead and take that. Might as well connect that there. We have this memory here to stop them, hopefully. That's the idea, anyway. Alright, so still chasing those guys down, and these guys here should... Nope, they're take... That's right, they're doing a siege. I did forget about that. Alright, so the next one to finish up would be right here. Alright, so it should be done. There we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue up along here. Might be able to fight those 3,000, though. So that's something to consider. There's mercenaries that are on the retreat. They did not leave, so that's a shame. They will be attacking us across the river. That works out nicely for us. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, that's the worst one to get in a time of war right now, guys. Yeah, that's a real shame. That's why I changed the taxes up, because we cannot be having these issues here. I feel like we can go ahead and send these guys uh, over to here now. And that we'll have a lot over there, but yeah, just as many armies as we can get there would be helpful. Still trying to get... Oh, damn it, I messed that up. Still trying to get these guys uh, attacked. Let's go over here and over here. That's a siege over there, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, it looks like we made a lot of progress here. And so that means these guys should be done as well. Uh, that's a different region, so we'll go over to this one next. And still chasing those guys down. All right, and then we'll have that battle right there. All right, so the next uh, siege to be done would be this one here. I still got a ways before I'll be uh, ready. All right, so they're attacking us there. So hopefully that goes well. They did actually raise a legion up, so they do have legions now. So they've started to raise legions, and things are going to go a little bit different for us now, that they actually have some legions raised up. It's going to get more challenging. So it's a good thing that we were fighting them as much as we could before. Because, yeah, they will have legions now. I didn't know if they'd be able to get legions because they are raising those levies up. But I think what was happening is we were destroying the levies. All right, so we were able to, to battle those mercs right there. Excellent. We'll just go ahead and stay here and take this territory then. All right, so going well so far, though time-consuming. 
Uh, we did finish constructing those buildings, are excellent. So we'll get three new minor characters, uh, new noble pomp, and we'll get that bonus there as well. Uh, and we can now finish the mission tree. We'll see what we can do here. There might be not, yeah, there might not be anything that we care about here. Yeah, we're not gonna do any missions, guys. Uh, we got enough stuff to worry about as it is. I'm really wishing that I had brought a tissue in here. I am like boogery as hell right now, guys. <laughs> Allergies are just messing me up, man. It's not good. All right, so you know what? we're gonna take this one first, and then we'll come over here. Next siege is that one there. Just waiting for some of these battles to finish up. Yeah, good kill death ratio there. They did attack us across the river. It looks like they might be somebody else fighting us. I'm not sure. Let's go over this way now. We got those five thousand there to also engage. Yeah, causing us issues. Maybe I should chase them down actually because we don't want them coming after those four thousand. Oh, there's three point two thousand there. All right, so definitely some, some issues. Come over this way now. Get that taken. And let's attack those troops there now. So one of the issues with attacking the levies and getting them destroyed is that they're able to get legions instead. That's one of the problems. But at the same time, we just don't want them having large armies floating all around, taking all of our territory over for obvious reasons. All right, so let's go after this one next. It's kind of slow going here, guys. Slow going. Uh, so the next siege will be that one there. Still trying to get these guys here engaged. It's 5.3 thousand. All right, so that's taken. Let's go ahead and have them see if they can't fight those troops right there. Okay, so that character died. Let's go ahead and have somebody else put in place here. Uh, we'll do that guy. Trying to save that one for like a better location. I don't know if we'll actually find a better location for him though. Once we get those ships over here to help out, that's gonna be uh, very, very nice. And where's the next siege? You know what? I don't know how we're doing on this. Okay, 49%. Still got a ways to go. All right, so the next sieges are these two here. All right, so as soon as that one's done, I'm moving over there. And we'll take a look at this guy. Get him going over to here. All right, so we got 3.2 thousand there. About to engage the 26 thousand there. Uh, let's see if we can't get that 5200 fought. Uh, we did wipe out the 2,000 here. We got 14,000 coming. Don't know if they'll still attack us. Yeah, they're still going to attack us there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, these guys are done. I don't know how I missed that one, but I did. All right. Um, so that's the next siege here in four days. All right, so these look well. That guy did get away from us. All right. So now this siege is done, let's move over to the next one. And yeah, part of the slow going though is having to keep these large armies together just because they have so many troops floating around. So many. Got that done, let's go after this one next. Uh, we'll attack those 15,000 there. Okay, we'll let them get locked. And then we'll have to, yeah, there's gonna be need some micromanagement there to get that done. So they're raising up like legions of 4,000 troops. Is that what they're doing here? That's what it looks like. All right, let's have this guy go over here next. Mm, damn, I'm not sure what they're doing with those guys. I guess we'll chase them. Nah, I don't chase them down. Yeah, maybe we'll have those 15,000 wipe them out. I don't know. All right, so not able to catch those ones there or those ones, but remember we're, we're gonna be a uh, Letting them get locked here. Ah, oh, damn it, that didn't work. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it that way. That was my bad. I knew they were just gonna stop. Uh, so yeah, we're not really getting anything done right there. Uh, let's see where these two sieges that are about to finish up, they're both right in the same area. All right, excellent. So we'll get these done and get them going somewhere else. About to have these connected here. It's going well. Yeah, it's going well, so it's getting real slow going though. Very slow going. Um, we did get that siege here finished up finally. Good god, that took a long time. Let's go and attack them there now. Get them wiped out. Ships are going up around Hispania now. So that's good. I don't know how I keep missing these ones. Yeah, I keep missing their, uh, them finishing their sieges up. 
Uh, the next one would be those guys right there. Get them coming over here next. We could split them up, I suppose. Yeah, we'll split them up. Try and get these done a little bit quicker. Nobody's coming over here and attacking us, so we're okay. Um, let's go and go across the river and attack those. I know that eventually we're going to have some issues here. God damn it. Yeah, it's just difficult to, to manage this. Yeah, it's just been kind of difficult to, to manage it because there's so many areas that we're fighting in, so we're missing things. This is the next siege that finishes up here. So we'll have to do that one next. Uh, we got three that are finishing up all around the same time here. Okay. And also, there should be a battle happening right there. Yep, this big old battle. Two battles here as well. Lots of battles ongoing at this moment. All right, so these guys should all be done. So let's go after that one. Those guys are moving. What were the the other ones? This is one. Have them go over here. And not really wanting to attack across that way. So let's go this way instead. A lot of troops over here now. Okay. Eventually you get the levy destroyed though, uh, and then they can't raise them back up because they don't have the control of that region anymore. Uh, where's this one? This one right here. Alright, so rise from the ashes. Uh, we'll do this one here, lose a little bit of loyalty. Start going after the rest of this state here. Both of those battles do look like they should be victories. I'm just going to sweep across our territory here. I'm looking for that one army. I don't know where the hell they went. Yeah, that one army that was down there in North Africa. No idea where they went. Uh, there's that army there. They keep on going to this territory here. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, all these are part of the Roman Revolt, so... They just didn't get pulled in, I guess. Okay, so that's interesting. So that they're part of the Roman Revolt, but did not get put brought into the war. I see. So that's the reason why they're able to, to go into this territory. That's what's causing us so much damn difficulty. And they'll never give us access, I don't think. We can demand it, of course. Oh, they will give us access. Okay. I would not I would think they wouldn't, considering the fact that they're not our subject. You know, or, they're, or they're a subject of somebody we're at war with. So I was expecting them to give us access there. But yeah, they're giving us access, so we'll take it. Uh, so, next siege is finishing up. We have two here finishing up. Okay. And we're going to want to take that political influence, I think, for the manpower. Uh, we could actually go ahead and spend some political influence. Uh, how are we doing on the... Yeah, we're, we're absolutely good on, on stability for right now. So we don't need to do anything with that. That's going up. It's very high. It's looking pretty good. Uh, could go in and get some cities, I suppose. That would be an option. Uh, but where would we want to put them where they wouldn't get destroyed? Hmm. Let's take a look at our loyalty situation. I mean, we're not really losing loyalty anywhere at the moment. No, we're not going to mess with that right now. This is all about the war, guys. I'm trying to get this war done. All right, so that battle's done. Let's try and close this up here. Take some of this territory. Get that done. And still got that siege and the other one finishing up. All right, so let's go and have these guys go over here next. Again, not entirely sure where that army is that was over here. They're not here any longer. Not sure where they'll go, but I don't think they would win against us. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, next siege finishing up would be this one here. In which case, we'll have them go over there next. And then we have this one about to finish up as well. And we had a battle finish up. Okay, we can capture their commander. Excellent. Um, where's our army? Oh, did we lose that? Oh, we lost that battle. Because it was just so overwhelmingly... Yeah, that was a huge army we were fighting. Okay, so we had our, our legion, I think, wiped out. That's what it looks like. Yeah, they wiped out the legion that I brought here. Uh, which legion was that, I guess, is the question. Magna Grecian one. So the Magna Grecian uh, legion, one of them was completely wiped out. All right, well, that's the first time I think we had one of our Legion armies wiped out. Now, luckily, the whole Legion didn't get wiped out, but, uh, yeah, that's rough. Uh, so where do we have the, the Magna Grecian Legions? I think one's right here. Yes. Uh, so we'll want to raise up another one then and then send them over there. But we won't do that just yet. We'll do that in a little bit. 
Uh, we could also send levies, I suppose, but of course the, the problem here is the ships are busy. And me keeping them all together, we should be probably separating the ships so we can move troops around a little bit more efficiently, I suppose. Uh, let's get this done here. Oops. Oh, we fell in the deficit again. Damn. Uh, I, we might have been in that, I don't know. Maybe another event that, that hit us, and I wasn't paying attention to how much money we had. Yeah, definitely having some money trouble here, guys. Lots of money trouble. I guess that's not surprising. It's Civil War. Wars are expensive. Civil Wars are extra expensive. Alright, let's so finish up that battle there. Alright, so let's just stay here and take that province in. Alright, so these are the two that are about to finish up. But yeah, we had our first defeat in the war. I don't think we've been defeated before in any of the battles yet. I'm pretty sure that might be the only one. Alright, so they're going over there next. We're going to that one. There was one that was just finished up is this one right here it's just such a slow process getting all this taken 725 is about two years left in the game I imagine they're gonna come over here and take all this territory I wonder if we could raise up a legion to or a levy here before they do could they'll probably just destroy them but what we'd want to do is see if we can't get like behind them <laughs> <laughs> so we'd want to let them get into our territory like right here and then raise them up there and then start like pushing over here and maybe grab some some something over there if we can get them to chase us that would be the best case scenario all right let's go after this one next just had that army sitting there for a while forgot about them all right so the next siege is this one here all right so let's go here next and then we have one about to finish up right there and there we go beautiful come over that way next Still waiting for those 2,000 to get down here. Also not entirely sure where that damn army is that's, that's causing us issues. Bouncing around, can't get them completely destroyed, so we have to keep those troops up there, which is a pain in the butt. All right, next siege to finish up would be right here. All right, let's go and take a look at the situation over here. All right, so they're still moving. Gonna finish up that siege and then we'll attack the 23. You know what, let's do this now before they get their morale up any higher. That'd be wise. All right, so this will be the siege that will be finished up next. And we'll probably want to keep these guys together now since we are sitting with a larger army over here, even if the morale is kind of low. All right, so they're they're almost there. And then we'll build it, try and get this finished up here. And that'll be super helpful just getting that done overall. Uh, this is done, so let's gonna move these guys over here, have them go that way. Just try and get all these guys moving. So it looks like we finished up a bunch of sieges all at once here. And doing that battle there. And let me just see where these guys are. Alright, so they're coming over this way. We'll see what they do. Alright. I'm gonna get that one taken where we just finished up a siege somewhere. I think it was right here. Let's go after this one next. 33,000 right there. It's a lot of troops floating around. Yeah, we could raise up so many more troops, and, and I suppose, again, there's really not any reason not to, but the, the moving them across the sea is, is the issue. Let me see if there's any levies. Yeah, we have a levy up here we can raise that I haven't done yet. Let's go and raise those guys then. Yeah, we won't raise those ones just yet, but you know what? We can raise this African one, so let's go ahead and do that now. That's a big old army. And we'll wait to get those guys raised up. So, yeah, we'll have a lot more troops here for taking care of some of this. So we're going to split those ones up, have one kind of race to the front there. Let's first go in and get these 2,000 coming over here though. It's going to be harder uh, as we raise more troops, trying to just manage all of them. Uh, let's go ahead and split these guys up, no, 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 I don't want to do it that way. Uh, split these guys up, and again have, as we usually do, have some set up for sieging these provinces. Well, others are set up for fighting. We'll make sure they have some food, though. And we'll want... Yeah, that's probably good. You know, we'll do two more over here. All right, so with these guys here, we'll split them up into two. Yeah, we'll split these guys up into two. And they're going to be pushing forward to take fortifications. Yeah, we'll have them go after some fortifications over here. 
and just try and make it so that you know the the weaker troops are you know behind the legions is what i'm thinking oh we do need to bring you know what? actually that's not what we need to do at all we should be bringing these guys down here to go battle them since they're gonna be taking all that territory from us soon so yeah we'll bring them over that way to help out uh, with these guys here because yeah this is a, a very large army in fact we should just go and bring both of those down here I think it's gonna be necessary and then with this one here we'll just split them in half a couple times and keep them where they're still like large armies like 5,000 or so men and they yeah, just kind of slowly get everything taken we'll keep them all together somewhat so they'll be able to kind of support each other, I suppose. And then one more that's left. One more. All right, let's go ahead and get those guys all taking some territory over there. All right, so that looks good. Still waiting for the troops in Hispania to arrive. Uh, where is the next siege finishing up? This one here. You know what, we could always have... You know what, I think we're going to do this differently. Uh, which battle was this? That was this one here, because that works. We'll go ahead and take that there. Uh, we're going to do this differently. We're going to send those guys, and then the 10,000 that are here. I'm going to do it the way I was going to do it the first time. I uh, have one go after that fort. While the other one... We'll just kind of stick around this area and support them. Yeah, we'll send this army here down here to, to help out. 30,000 against theirs should be enough, although that is a legion. Oh, but it's all archers. That's interesting. That's a 99 archers. Okay. <laughs> I think 30,000 of our troops will be enough, though. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so this is the siege that's finishing up, and that's the one we're going to send. We're going to send these guys down here to help us out. All right, so next siege that is done is right here, looks like. Yeah, three days to get that one done. All right, so let's go ahead and take that, and the next siege is right here. And these guys have been done, for I think, for a while. All right, let's have them go after the fort next, then. Although, I kind of want to engage. I don't know where those guys are going. They might be retreating pretty far. I think we're going to go over here and start working on that fort so that nobody can get past here without having to fight that fort. I think that's the best way to do that. Alright, so let's go and dip across the territory and make sure we have troops, you know, fighting everywhere. Alright, so they're going to take that there. What we're going to do is let's go ahead and see if we can't get them to chase us or we just get to go move into their territory and start taking some territory over. So we have 3,500 here. So let's go this way and see if they can, if they won't chase us. Looks like they did not chase us. All right, well in that case, yeah, we'll just have them take territory over here, I suppose, and see what they do. All right, so this guy here's done. Let's have him, ooh, let's see how we wanna go about doing this. Yeah, I guess we'll have him just continue to operate in this area. Go take something over there. And this guy's gonna go grab that for us. All right, just make sure nobody's sitting around not doing anything. Uh, we have a siege about to finish up, which is that one right there. Let's have these guys come on over here now. Might have to fight those guys with this army. I'd prefer not to do it that way, though. All right, let's go after this territory here. Those guys are almost there. <laughs> Taking them forever, but they're almost there. And just making sure no troops here are just sitting around not doing anything. But yeah, I think that these guys should be able to take them out here. Yeah, they'll be able to take all that over. They don't want to go after the fort. That's fine. That's that's good for us. And because yeah, I think that they would be able to take that fort before I was able to get troops over there to, to assist. This guy's finally over here. Came from up up there and it took him a while. And these guys are finally here. Alright, awesome. So we got them over there. Um, let's have them come over here and pick up the Magna Grecian ones, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go out to the Magna Grecian troops, which we'll just bring from over here, I suppose. And we might not even need them at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and get this army here set up. Again, go ahead and pull out all those. Uh, and 
Maybe just give them a couple supply wagons here. And we see how this one looks. Yeah, that's, that's the way we're going to keep this. Uh, let's have them go after this siege down here. I know that's a... Well, you know what? Let's keep all these together, actually. So they'll go after the, the provinces around the forts. Well, this army here, which we'll be splitting a couple times. We'll go after, like, uh, forts and stuff. So we'll have one go over here after the fort. And... One to go after that fort. He'll go after that one. And he'll go over here. He'll go right there. Alright, excellent. Alright, so just make sure that uh, troops are working. You know, actually... I don't know if they'll win. So, you know, we're going to bring these guys over here to make sure that they destroy them. Because, yeah, I don't know how well these guys would do here against them in the hills. So let's just bring the, the legion over here. It's fine. Alright, so let's go and push forward there. Those guys, they're still working. Just make sure no troops here are sitting around. Alright, excellent. So the next siege that would be finishing up, of course, they have the one siege here that they're doing. Uh, but our next siege finishing up would be this one. All right, so now we're going to want to start filling this in. We'll go after that one next. We have two sieges here finishing up right now. That one and this one. All right, so that should be done in about a day. Let's go, and go after this territory now. And then we have the, uh, the siege over here that finished up. And so we could go straight over here to attempt to attack them. You know, let's not do that. Let's just slowly take the territory with these two units. Have them kind of leapfrog off each other. Go straight to the fort, actually, and then he'll fill it in. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. And then this army can kind of meet them as well. So we'll have them go after that province right now and then slowly fill this in. I think that's the best way to go ahead and do it. And then, you know, if they want to keep those 40-something thousand troops over there, you know, then that's, they can do that. That's fine. Uh, we would be attacking across here. They're pretty weak. I don't know. Uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. We'll see. Alright, I think we did finish a couple sieges up. I'm not entirely sure, though. Uh, is that one done? No, that one's not done yet. Ah, uh, this one's here. Alright. Let's go after that. Just try and get control of all the roads. At the very least, so you can kind of see them moving around and such. Looks like we might be chasing somebody down there, which means he might come on over here. Okay, that's a siege that finished up. Next siege to finish up is right here. And we did do a battle right there. There we go. So we did get a nice victory. All right, excellent. So we're going to take that, that fortress there. And the next siege is this one here. Yeah, just keep on taking the coastline. Uh, we have a siege here just about done. We'll go after that. While this unit here is going to go try and destroy those 5,000 men there. Uh, we do have this one here that's going to be finishing up. And let's try and see if we can get those guys engaged again. It's been a while since we fought them. Alright, so this guy here, we're going to have him go after that province. And next siege to finish up is this one. There we go, beautiful. Let's go ahead and grab that one next. Next one's right here. Just kind of keep coasting across the territory. And this is the next one. I'll go over there. Yeah, we'll start getting these a lot quicker now that we have so many units over here doing this. It's just going to go a lot smoother overall. Alright, so we have uh, two that are finishing up right now. All right, so we'll have them go after that one next. And then we have the, the one unit over here, which just finished theirs up. So we'll go after that next. All right, next siege to finish is this one here. All right, so just keep on moving that way. And then that siege would be the next one to finish up. All right, so let's have them go. Oops, looks like I grabbed the wrong one. My bad. All right, let's have that guy move over there, and they'll just kind of sweep across the territory every once in a while. Make sure I'm not, like, missing anything. Oh, yeah, these guys are trying to leave, so, like, we might want to try and stop them if we can. 
And yeah, missed that one. Alright, so the next siege is this one here. Let's go and get that last road build. Nah, they retreated up that way. That's not the way I wanted them to retreat. I was hoping they'd retreat this way. Alright, well, it is what it is. Alright, so that's one province taken there. Let's come on over to this one next. We can do that one, I suppose. Try and keep them around this, this fort area. Uh, the next siege is right here. There we go, beautiful. Let's go ahead and have them go that way next. And the next one is this one. Alright, looking good, man. Alright, so this one's just about done here. Let's go over there. It looks like we did end up engaging that unit there. Alright, that's interesting to see. They are going after the fort there. Alright, that works as well. Because uh, then, you know, it takes some time to do it. Either way, it works, I suppose. Uh, now that we're up here, might as well see if we're about to engage these guys. They're on the retreat now. Alright, so we'll see if we can't get them, get them fought over here somewhere. And next siege to finish up is this one. Uh, so we did win that battle. We'll be doing that siege next. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys come on over here. Again, just kind of sweeping across the territory. Make sure units are always sieging and fighting and, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, those guys are on the move as well. Okay, so the next siege would be right here. It looks like we have two sieges, actually. One right there and one right here. Alright, so we'll go after that one next. And then we have to get this unit here going after that one. Alright, uh, so we got another one here, but there should be like every tick of the day we should have to move a unit, which again, which is, is going to be very time consuming. But we'll slowly get this territory all conquered, and hopefully in time. That's the idea here. Get it done before the uh, conflict is, is over, before the, the campaign is over, I should say. Alright, let's go over here next. Or we just push forward here again, we want to kind of be in the front. Since that's a, a better unit. Alright, so unfortunately we are going to have to end the episode here soon. I guess we can do a couple more ticks here just to get a bit more territory conquered. We'll have these guys go over here. It's a little bit closer. Also, these guys here are done. So let's have them go this way and this way. Keep them together. And this is the next siege that is finished up here. Alright, have him go after that one next. Oh, he's already going this way, so we'll have him go this way then. We'll go right there. This is the next one. I want to make sure we're keeping him far away from that unit. Now, he might end up getting engaged and destroyed uh, by the unit that's on the retreat here. That's a very real possibility, but you know, if that's what happens, then it happens, guys. It's fine. As long as we can take some territory with him beforehand. Looks like this is the next one. Alright, so they shouldn't build a cross here, and, and, and basically we, we can just kind of strangle Hispania so no troops can get in here. That's the idea here. Still trying to chase that unit down there. And just got that. Excellent. We'll go over here. And one more siege here, just about done. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go after the next one. All right, so making good progress here, guys. We're just gonna dip around, make sure that there's no units not doing anything, and then we're gonna end today's episode here. There's 27,000 there on the move. I wonder if we can get them engaged right there. We could, so let's go ahead and fight them. And we wanna fight them whenever we can. And that is mercenaries as well. I think those are mercenaries that we saw floating around here and I couldn't figure out where they went. Makes me think it is. All right, uh, so that is where we're going to end the episode, guys. We, we made some good progress here. Uh, still a lot of territory left to take and a lot of units left to destroy as well. Uh, once our ships get over here, which they're going across the Mediterranean now, once the ships get over here, we can pick those up and uh, we'll bring them probably to Africa, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we'll bring them over to Africa and just kind of help out. And, you know, we got so many armies floating around here that it's just a matter of time. Uh, before we, we win this conflict. Uh, but hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which will be on Tuesday. And thanks for watching.